Your energy should always be focused on the things that you want. Stop putting so much energy into the things that you don't want to see. Because the more energy you put into the things that you don't want to see, the more energy you put out into the world, right? That's all part of your aura. And you're going to continue receiving those things. I, I promise you, you will continue receiving those things. That's why you meet some people and they, all they can tell you about is how bad their relationships are and how miserable their love life is. And they'll never be able to find someone that loves them. And you'll, they'll never be able to find someone that cares for them and this and that and da, 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 da. Well, those people are all single. Why are they single? Well, it's because what are they constantly manifesting? They're constantly manifesting bad relationships. They're constantly manifesting bad partners. They're constantly manifesting trauma. I'm not saying that your trauma is your fault. I'm, ne I'm never going to say that. I'm not blaming you for your trauma. But what I am saying is that the law of attraction is real and the manifestation is real. So as you continue to believe that that is your life, you will continue seeing that and you will continue receiving that and you will continue attracting that. There's nothing wrong with going through something that is traumatic and telling yourself that is not a representation of me. That is not who I am. That is not what I will continue to experience for the rest of my life. Good things will happen to me. Good will happen to me. I will find a great relationship that is sustainable and long-term and loving and trusting. I will find a partner that cares for me and treats me well and respects me and wants the best for me. I will find all the things that I'm looking for in a husband, in a father to my children. I will find that. I might have to do some work. I might have to do some research. I might have to try some different things. I might have to step out of my comfort zone and go places that I wouldn't regularly go, meet some people that I wouldn't regularly meet, right? Try some things that I wouldn't regularly try. I might have to go do some exploring and trial and error. But rest assured, I will find that. It is not a, it is not a, a maybe, it is not an if, it is not a possibility, it is a fact. I will find that. That's the mindset you have to continue to have. <clears throat> and that doesn't, <clears throat> and that doesn't mean that you won't experience things, right? And then when I say experience things, that doesn't mean that you won't go through things, right? But going through things doesn't mean that your mindset should have to change to, oh, I just, I'm, I'm going to give up. I'm never going to find the right person for me. Oh, I'm going to give up. I'm never going to find that love that I deserve. Oh, I'm going to give up. I'm never going to find the right man. No. You, you, you don't have to be moved or shaken by the things that are in front of you, right? You can have, and this is why I say this is not religious, but it is spiritual in a sense. You can have faith. That despite what is in front of you, you will continue to believe that your day is coming where you will get the relationship that you want and you desire. There's nothing wrong with believing that. It doesn't cost you any extra energy. It doesn't burn any extra calories. It doesn't, it doesn't do anything negative for you to believe that you will see the results that you want to see eventually. It doesn't cost you anything, right? To just continue to believe that. And eventually, much like we talked about in all the different examples of manifestation and the law of attraction, eventually you will start seeing that, right? Now, don't get me wrong, it takes action, but eventually you will start seeing that, right? Okay, whether it's your creativity, I've seen some people say, I love art, I love painting, whether it's your creativity, maybe it's music, maybe it's writing, maybe it's, I don't know, podcasting, <laughs> maybe it's uh, um, whatever it may be that you're, pas you're passionate about, you feel like, you feel like the set of skills and the um, ability that you have, right, is leading you in a direction to serve the world in this particular way, okay? For example, I'm here in front of you because of talents that I have been blessed with that are a bit outside of my, con not outside of my control in the sense that obviously not everyone has them. The ability to articulate myself is something that I've been blessed with, right? The ability to figure things out, like technically all this technical stuff that has to get figured, figured out, you know, 
I've been blessed with that ability, the ability to tell a good story, to be engaging when I speak is, you know, all these type of things is leading me in a direction in order to serve my purpose to the world or give them some sort of the world, some sort of value that didn't exist before I was here. Right. My point being is that we all have that. If I never tried things, if I never stepped out of my comfort zone, if I never sat down and thought, okay, what do I want? What am I good at? How can I serve the world? Okay. I would never be here in front of you. Right. And this is not about me, but I'm just using that as an example so that you can understand like your purpose is out there existing. Like your passion, the thing that you're meant to be doing is out there existing. Right. You just have to discover it. It already exists. It already exists. It's already present. You just have to do the job of discovering it. Sometimes that's going to take trial and ever error. Sometimes maybe some of you might already know what it is, right? Sometimes it's going to take stepping outside of your comfort zone and doing some things that you're unfamiliar with, right? Sometimes it's going to take doing things and realizing that it's exactly not what you want to do. Like it's the complete opposite of what you want to do. Like I said, sometimes it's going to require you to fail at some things, right? But you have to take action. Okay. And like I said, I know this is super deep. And some of you guys are like, how does this relate to relationships? How does finding my purpose relate to relationships? I just want to have a good loyal man. I just want to have a good, nice relationship. I just want to feel loved. Right. But part of finding your purpose is finding love within yourself. Not part of finding that is what it is. Right. Is because as you continue to serve your purpose, as you continue to reach your goals, right, you have something that you're waking up every day for, right? You don't want to be waking up purposeless, right, with no direction. I talk about direction all the time, right? With nothing that you feel like you're getting up in the morning for. That is a tragic life, right? If you feel like you're waking up in the morning and you have nothing that you're working towards. You have nothing that you're waking up in the morning for outside of just making money, right? Very easily, whenever you find yourself in a relationship, right, that takes your time and your energy, this is what happens, right? For the first time, you have something that you're waking up focused on. You have something, someone rather, that you're waking up thinking about, working towards, right? You're trying to create this perfect relationship, right? And you're finally feeling like you have a purpose. But the problem is when the only thing that give, brings you validation, when the only thing that brings you happiness, when the only thing that makes you feel whole or satisfied in life is your relationship, you will be on a roller coaster because the regular relationships, a regular healthy relationship even the most healthiest of amazing of awesome relationships goes through ups and downs, right? Peaks and valleys. There is no relationship that exists that is always good all the time. It is impossible because we are all imperfect human beings. Okay. Even if you and your partner don't ever go outside, don't ever step outside or talk to anyone else your entire life, you're going to have disagreements. You're going to have fights, right? You're going to have arguments. The relationship's going to be super good some days, and some days it's going to be not so good. The problem with not having your own purpose or your own happiness outside of the relationship and making your life only the relationship is you will go so up when it's good, you'll also go extremely down when it's bad. And that's not a sustainable way to live, right? You will also, you will also find it very hard to give your partner any sort of individuality outside of the relationship, which is also not healthy. You will build such an extreme amount of codependency because you will be in so much fear that you'll not have the same validation. You'll not have the same um, purpose to your life if that person is not in it. Right. And that's a dangerous place to be. Because you'll be pushing for every single 
little thing. You'll be, you'll be so, you'll be so, what's the word I'm even looking for? You'll be so discombobulated anytime something small happens. And you'll get in the habit of making even the smallest things seem like the biggest deal. And you'll feel like they're a big deal because to you, this is your purpose. This is your life. You have nothing else going for you outside of the relationship and this man. Meanwhile, in order for this man to keep the relationship afloat, to keep you guys financially stable, to keep a roof over the head, to keep, you know, once you guys have children, to keep the family going, he has to actually focus his time and his energy on things outside of you. But because your entire life is only him and just him, you have so much codependency. Anytime he tries to have any sort of individuality outside of you or put his time or his focus or energy on, on anything outside of you, you're falling apart. I don't want that for you. And I don't want you to fall victim to that, right? You need to wake up knowing what your purpose is outside of just your relationship. Knowing what you're waking up for outside of just your relationship because those are the things that are going to serve you throughout the span of the relationship when it's good you're going to have that when it's bad you're still going to have that and it will keep you more level-headed throughout the span of the relationship than on this damn roller coaster you're up down 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 i'm not saying that you shouldn't be emotional women are emotional beings we're all emotional beings to a certain extent okay I'm not saying you shouldn't feel emotions. I'm not saying you shouldn't be sad sometimes. You shouldn't be angry sometimes. You, should be, you shouldn't be upset sometimes. What I am saying, right, is that you want to have your own internal validation. You want to have your own source of happiness, right? That's internal. You want to have your own things going for yourself. You want to have your own goals 